Next topic we want to talk about, going back to that, oh, dreadful Atlanta Falcons team letting the city of Atlanta down. Sometimes it hurts being a, a fan of a, oh gosh, I don't, I don't even know how to describe this team. Just Dan Quinn's got to go. He's got to go. But it's not about the Atlanta Falcons. It's about Nick Foles and how he came back to beat the Atlanta Falcons, taking over for Mitchell Trubisky through that game. Was it midway or was it through the third quarter that they took over for Mitchell Trubisky after he threw that interception to Ray Wilson? So Foles comes in. He throws touchdown after touchdown, one to, to Jimmy Graham, one to Anthony Miller. That ended up being the game-winning touchdown. And he looked solid. He came in, and he's going to be the starter, according to Matt Nagy, of the Chicago Bears team. Let this sink in for a second, that Nick Foles took over for the Chicago Bears. The Bears are 3-0, and and the media treats the Bears like they're 0-3. Believe it or not, they're 3-0. and They beat Detroit, they beat New York, they beat Atlanta. Granted, only one of those teams has a victory. The Detroit Lions upsetting the Arizona Cardinals this past week. Still though, 3-0. and You're off to a good start, but it doesn't feel like it with the Chicago Bears and their quarterback situation with Mitch Trubisky just because they feel like he's been playing so poorly and they decided to move on finally and benching him. And this is the first time that Trubisky has been benched and lost the confidence of Matt Nagy ever since that weird two minutes, one minute in the fourth quarter against the Los Angeles Rams in that one Sunday night game last last year where they put in Chase Daniel. So Foles is the unquestioned starter at this point, according to Matt Nagy. He's going to be playing and he's going to be starting for the Chicago Bears until further notice. Do we feel like that this is a good decision on the part of of the Chicago Bears. There was a, a show of Time to Football that we did a, uh, a few months back. I think this was back in March. We had a co-host, uh, Ali Razak, coming up on this show. And we talked about the topic of Nick Foles being traded to Chicago. It was around that time. And we talked about, is Mitch Trubisky or Nick Foles going to be the starter for the Chicago Bears? And we kind of explained it perfectly on why we think that Nick Foles should be the starter or is going to be the starter for the Chicago Bears. So we're going to roll that clip real quick and we're going to get back to you guys. You don't start or you don't trade for someone with that big of a contract unless you have some sort of plans for them. And I don't believe the fact that the the Bears are just going to trade for him just to push Mitchell Trubisky, just to give him that healthy competition and hope that Trubisky will be the better quarterback. I think at this point, Foles is more than likely the quarterback that can, hey, we'll start you, we'll restructure your contract just a bit, even though you're going to get $15 million guaranteed for sure uh, this upcoming year in 2020. He's going to start for sure. He's more than likely, if it works out for the Bears, Foles is willing to accept less money when he needs a newer contract. Mitch Trubisky, he's at the point right now where he's entering his fourth year in his contract. The Bears don't know if they're going to pick up their fifth-year option. And he's a rookie that's looking to make a lot of money. So if it works out with Mitch Trubisky, he's going to be that next guy, like Dak Prescott, who's asking for like $30 million, $35 million a year. Uh, so I just don't see that happening realistically. I feel like Foles is going to start, whether it's going to be day one. I don't know. Um, day one. But you eventually think that he's going to start. I do. I, I, I do. I feel like Foles is going to be the next quarterback, starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Right after Mitch Trubisky is uh is benched, so that that's my hot take on it. So I don't show that clip just to say, hey, bragging rights. I was correct, but instead I show that clip because it describes the situation with the Chicago Bears perfectly about how Nick Foles came in and was traded from the Jacksonville Jaguars to be that competition for Trubisky, and Nagy and and the general manager could say that listen. Trubisky is our guy that can say it all they want, but the fact of the matter is he was on a short leash. He was. They wanted it to make it work. He was the second overall pick back in 2017. They traded up when they pretty much shouldn't have. They could have gotten Trubisky at number three if they wanted to. They passed up on people like Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. They wanted Trubisky to be a thing and make it work, but at that point, short leash, like I said, Foles brought in a bunch of money. You have to move on with Nick Foles. So what does that mean uh, for the future for the Chicago Bears? 
if we want to talk about the future and we want to talk about Foles making a lot of money, well, they worked with him. They restructured his contract. Instead of making that $22 million a year that he was making in Jacksonville, he restructured before the season started on April 1st, and he said that he's going to be making $8 million a year. $21 million uh, of that three-year contract is guaranteed. So that's taken a lot of money um, or uh, taken away a lot of money for the Chicago Bears, so he makes that contract uh, team-friendly. For Mitch Trubisky, they were in a situation where, hey, listen, does he want that contract extension? He's going to have to approve it with Chicago. And at this point, he doesn't seem like they want to pick up on their uh, fifth-year option for Mitch Trubisky. They're eventually just going to move on with Trubisky and uh, just go ahead with Nick Foles for the time being. But Foles, he is in his 30s, and he's been around for quite a bit of time, if, if several years, but since 2013 or 2012. And... What do they do with the future at the quarterback position? For the time being, they're going to roll with Nick Foles. But in the draft, in the NFL draft, are you going to get another quarterback? Someone like, well, you, you probably can't get Trevor Lawrence because he's probably going to be the number one overall pick and you're already 3-0. and So if you're looking at a team that's going to be getting Trevor Lawrence with the number one overall pick, you're going to have to look at the teams that are uh, haven't won a game yet, potentially the New York Jets. Could get the uh, could get Trevor Lawrence with the number one overall pick. So you're gonna have to uh, draft a quarterback later in the draft, or at least trade up to the mid round. Maybe if you go to the playoffs, you're gonna get a later first round pick. There's a guy from North Dakota State University, Trey Lance, that has been generating some NFL interest. That they threw a whole entire scrimmage just for him or at least he was one of the big names in consideration for throwing a game together because uh, his conference was not playing football because of the COVID-19 outbreak. And they decided to have just this one game where NFL scouts could come and they can look at Trey Lance, who did not throw a single interception last season. So he's a pretty good quarterback and he's being talked about as a first round talent. So could Trey Lance go to the Chicago Bears and replace Trubisky? Absolutely but potentially falls later down the road in the future. A lot of things to unpack, but for, for now, we do believe that it, it is a good decision for Nick Foles to be the Chicago Bears starting quarterback at this point.